All right, welcome back. What are we going to go over tonight? Um, well, tonight we're going to go over the proper way to put a new cam arm kit and weight set into our six tower Articat clutch. Cam arm kit, repair kit, is what I bought. That's Articat part number 4639-673. As I said earlier, they just describe it, kit, cam arm repair, 04 wide. Um, what they're referencing to and, and when they say wide is these weights are wider than like 03 and older, ran a narrow weight profile, um, and actually they'll have a smaller pin roller in the spider on a lot of the older 9 tower stuff kind of a transition period in there where they had the six tower with a wide roller but still a narrow pin so your movable sheave was different um, to the point where your your wide weights won't fit in there anyway um, pretty simple process so it's not going to be earth shattering to many of you the only thing is I'm going to throw in the proper torque specs from the book because we do everything by the book around here. Um, what that <clears throat> what that cam arm kit includes are the pins. These pins are notched for your set screws. Uh, the set screws are what hold the weight connected to the pin. Um, as I've said in a previous video, particular to this clutch, um, there's bushings inside the movable sheave because the pin actually moves inside the movable sheave here rather than the old narrow pin sets or narrow pin clutches where the weight actually moved on the the weight pin um, so it includes those the lock washers for those um, o-rings something the 04 or newer stuff did is is it actually is um, supported on either side by o-rings those are what keep the weight centered about the roller in the spider as well as um, act as kind of a uh, let's say a bearing between um, the pin itself and the movable sheave I'll explain that a little later on and then it actually includes the set screws which if you can see there they're already um, have got some Loctite applied to them when you buy the kit. Otherwise, it just takes a, uh, some red Loctite. So, pretty simple as I mentioned. Um, thing to remember is which direction your, your clutch spins. Um, reason being is I like to put the head of the bolt to the front side of the clutch so if my clutch is on the, the crankshaft it's going to be spinning counterclockwise so at that point I want to take my pin put one of the washers on it um, I'll note this right now so these have a, a impression for the set screw and the weight uh, the heads of the bolts, the head of the pin, actually has a notch in it that's lined up with that set screw. And the reason for that is when you get it into the clutch, you got to line that pinhole up to put your set screw in, so that just helps as a guide, or acts as a guide. Um, so again, pin put rubber o-ring on one side and then as I mentioned I like to put the head of the bolt on the on the uh, the front side of the rotation so it'd be since my clutch is spinning counterclockwise if I'm facing my clutch mounted on the uh, the crankshaft I'm going to put it on the left side it should be this side we'll just set it in there like so take one of your weights drop it into place Slide the pin in through all the way. 
no to your notch so that you line up your um, depression for the set screw. <clears throat> you can take your other o-ring for the back side, push that on. Make sure you push it up onto the shoulder of the, the pin or the bolt so that you don't pinch it when you, you screw your lock washer on and ruin the ruin the o-ring because you want these o-rings to be intact and in place and working properly otherwise otherwise the weight can move side to side on the roller which can um, prematurely wear the roller and the fiber bushing that's inside the roller um, look back I got a video on how to remove the spider and replace the rollers where I go over how that assembly looks. Um, pin in, weight on the pin, o-ring on the side, start your lock washer on your pin, stop there, um, grab your your set screw for the weight, again as I mentioned the, the pin's got a notch on the head to line that up. Make sure that's lined up with the hole on the weight. And then you'll just screw your set screw into the weight, making sure you're centered on the pin. You'll know when it drops in, you just kind of got to feel it out. Um, you'll know the set screw will bury into the weight um, to nearly flush. So if it's sticking out at all, you're not in the right spot yet. So I didn't have that lined up very good, so I'm going to back this out. <sighs> Drop my set screw in there. Grab another one for now. Line that up better. Try this again. There we got it. Um, there's not a torque spec on that set screw because it's got Loctite on it, I guess. And they call that good enough. So that in the book it even just says um, secure firmly. Um, as far as, so once we get to here, now I want to tighten up the lock nut on the pin. Um, as you can see, as I move the weight, the pin turns with it. That's what you want. That's correct. Um, 7 16 sockets are um, what size these, uh, the pin and the nut are. And then, according to the book, 25 inch pounds is all you tighten this up to. So I like to use two, two ratchets with an extension because it's just easier than trying to use a boxed in wrench inside there. Um, 25 inch pounds. So I'll set my wrench to that. Let's back up. Just like that. That's it. That should be secured. So what actually happens is the the nut will run up against the shoulder of the bolt. The bolt's wide enough such that there's there's play in there, um, and that play is allowable. So set screws set in place. Um, bolts in nuts on that should be that um, 
These are what uh, this particular clutch would be an 04 and newer Articlat clutch. Um, they reference it as a, a wide pin clutch. So what I got is some 63 gram weights. Um, that's not a common number for the, the particular, or not a common weight for the particular machine this clutch came off of. Um, that's going to go in my F6 race sled, but trying, trying some different weighting um, to get my RPM set right and, and try to see if I can get the best power to the ground out of that machine. Anyway, common numbers are more 60, 65 gram, 70 gram weights. Um, running 60s right now and seeing one thing ran 65s and saw another I kind of want to fall in the middle and see what I get out of a 63. The 63 is actually a common weight for like uh, like a 2011 M8 or something like that. A high elevation weight for a mountain sled but should be same or similar cam profile just a, a, a middle weight that could work out well for me, might not. We're going to do some testing tomorrow to find out. Anyway.